Yo, what's up dudes, back with some more raids, but check out what just happened to me. I can't make this stuff up. Now I've already laddered up and over into this space, but came back out to show you guys this. Okay, well, don't ever ladder between two high walls like I just did, but anyways, I wanted to show you guys this. Check this thing out, the turrets are turned off. Massive hole into the base, but when you run up into here, uh, what are you doing in my video? Get off the screen. Hey, what about my world? What's wrong with it? Are you from a kid's game? That is not true. Hero Wars has vibrant graphics, cool gameplay, and a user-friendly interface. All right, let's give it a shot. Yeah, tell them more about it. We're sick of the usual orcs, elves, and dwarves. In Hero Wars, everyone can find the character that suits them. Their cyborgs, aliens, vampires, and even furries won't be disappointed. I've been playing for two weeks, but only unlocked a third of them. We're gonna unlock Chaba next, who's a tank and literally devours the enemies. But Celeste is the real S tier who can switch between the DPS dark form and and a healing life form, which makes her useful in any situation. And check out this sexy outfit that's dropped for her. There's no equal to Hero Wars. You can play it on the bus, at lectures, or even while playing Rust. It's easy to start playing, but making a perfect team of heroes is an art in itself. For example, Mojo the Shaman, he can't heal the Dark Star Elf as efficiently as Martha can, but Cleaver, while slow, makes a great pair with Isaac. Hero Wars is a world of six unique modes, more than 300 Guild Wars servers, and 100 million players. You can play alone or see if your friends want to join in. And if you're wondering where you can get 30,000 coins, 600 emeralds, and five awesome heroes to start dominating, the answer is check the link in the description below. You can scan this QR code on the screen or download the game from the link below in the description. See you guys in the game. The doors are all unlocked. Like what the heck, they're all green. So I haven't changed any of the codes yet, but looks like this thing's rated or something, right? Come around here, door is missing. Door missing over here too. And we've got a full on a freaking base here guys, for free. Bag say base, looks like there's at least like six, eight players living in here. All the doors unlocked. Boxes, when I started checking them. Like what is that? Entire box of expo ammo in here dudes. And then a little bit more expo ammo over there. Um, yeah, full on base, just everything unlocked. So there's still one door I couldn't access. I brought one C4 and a rocket to come check it. But I am just baffled. I'm not understanding. Why did he build a full on base and leave everything open? Um, the door I'm talking about is down here. And <laughs> more expo ammo? Like, what the heck, bro? And that's an M2. So, here's the door. And we're gonna have to hope this stuff doesn't despawn and bring it back. And there's a sleeper in TC, dudes. What the heck, man? What is going on? KGKV, was this guy like hacking or something? Got kicked, maybe? No idea, but 34 auto turrets in there? Um, let's grab that TC, put a lock on it. And I'm gonna put some doors up, lock a bunch of these doors that they had. And yeah, I guess let's check that TC and what looked to be main loot room that that guy was sleeping to see if there's anything else in here. Okay, here we go. There's a boom box. And we still have to take all of this expo out of here, especially that stuff that got destroyed and wanted to despawn. What was on the body? Yo, 400 tech trash. I've never seen anything like this, dude. Bunch of HP rockets. Can we get anything from the TC? 
What the heck, dude? 70,000 sulfur and gunpowder. 800 explosives. Guys, I have no idea what's going on, but I just found all of this for free. Except we used one rocket and one C4. Who is this guy? KG... KV is wearing meme gear. Like, did somebody put this here for somebody to find? Either way, we now have enough to do like the biggest clan base on the server and the turrets to guard and protect for it. So yeah, I'm going to spend some time getting the rest of this crap out of here. But I just had to show you guys that like, what is that? Anyways, we'll move this stuff up out of here and I'll take you guys to the next actual raid. I mean, this was still a raid, but just super weird how he left everything open. All right, dudes out here scouting for a big clan base to raid it. Once again, exclamation point, I clan is building this skyscraper type all armored base. Now I am not going to attempt it. We've seen this base many times before. We've raided it once and we had to wipe it completely with tons of rockets and Z4. But just wanted to showcase these guys build pretty epic and we can check their vending machines actually. So 5k, explo ammo. Actually, there's... 7k more it's like 13,000 expo ammo sitting in there 700 no way they actually have 750 c4 pretty sure that's a full vending machine of c4 i've never seen that before 600 rockets oh my gosh dude these guys are literally the richest i've ever seen 28 m2s bro their base build is just insane like they had their loot sealed off last time we hit it but like i said we had to wipe it anyways exclamation point i the new clan that is is controlling the server for sure. I want to keep on looking for bases to raid. I'll be back with you guys in a sec. All right, dudes, on to an actual raid, I guess. Anyways, I've done a bunch of prepping for this quote unquote base. Now, it's just a bunch of raised external TCs so you guys can see them all armored. And I've done so much prepping, put up all of these turrets to cover us while we take them down. I'm searching for a hidden sealed off loot here. Whenever I find a cluster of external TCs like this, especially ones that have a layer of honeycomb, I'm looking for a hidden loot. And when there's no base that they're placed around, kind of giving it away that they're just a stash. Anyways, we're going to check these things off one by one. I just need something to use all of that boom that we found today on. Here we go. We are right next to launch. I do expect to get countered, but hopefully turrets can cover. We're going to start checking them off one by one in this order. We're going to go boom all around here. Three, four, five, six, seven. There are some pretty far away. If we don't find anything from these close by, going to start heading out that way and blowing those up too. But first, we'll start with the ones that my turrets can cover me on. So, let's send it on this one. And we're going to go for the foundation here. We'll just wipe them one by one. Okay, just HQM fell out of that one. Actually, just a TC, five HQM in there, really? Um. Okay, I didn't see any crates fall, yeah. Just HQM again, three. <laughs> yeah, it's like the exact amount of HQM to last the wipe in there. And what do you know? More HQM, hoping that we can actually find something that he's living out of. Bruh. Really? <laughs> More HQM. Um, okay. Guess we'll keep on going. Gonna need to bring back more C4. Now that we have better TC priv, I might try to place some turrets out there as we start hitting those that are further away. Anyways, I'll be back with you guys in a few minutes. Surprised nobody's came to counter though. All right, well, pretty tedious to continue to add turrets in all of these gaps, but I put up one turret. Somebody's at launch site, I think. Anyways, what I wanted to say is I noticed this one has a ladder on it. I can't be giving it away, right, guys? He wouldn't do something that obvious. Anyways, I just want to go for that one first. We've got a few more C4 back here. We can do three or four more of these things. But yeah, just saying, this thing's got a ladder on it. And let's check it. 
It would be super dumb to place all of these and give away the one with loot with a ladder, but we're going to check it anyway. No way. Something other than HQM? Could this actually be loot? Okay. 10 turrets? Was there TC in here? Yeah. Let's go. We actually found the right one because he put a ladder on it. Bro, we went through all that work and then gave it away. What the heck, dude? But honestly, not even that big of a jackpot in here. 500 explosives. Let's get back into the safety of our auto turret range here. And yeah, 500 explosives. I think that's only 24 C4 that we can craft with that. So we did not profit. I was expecting a jackpot if we ever did find this guy's loot. I think I'm gonna stop at that TC. I mean, we saw the comps, a bit of comps in there and then raw materials in the TC. So yeah, kind of underwhelming loot there, but we can make 25 more turrets with that. So none of these were wasted and yeah. I'll move on to another base right here for you guys. Just need to keep on scouting. Still, like, why did he put a ladder on the only one with loot, bro? Next time, I'm gonna be checking that before we waste C4 on the others. Well, all the raids today have been super unique. First raid, dude left every single door unlocked. The second raid was the external TCs elevated, exposed by a ladder, and yeah, we got a wooden base here. Now, this is almost like a good looking base, but it's wood. Anyways, I just brought some Molotovs. So let's see if we can continue with the strange day of raiding. Get anything from this wooden base. I mean, it's built like in between rocks, almost like he was trying to make it hidden, but it is wood. So yeah, let's go for it. There we go. We got a TC and a coffin. Is this thing going to fall? Okay, well, foundation's nearly destroyed, but we got the door anyway, so let's see if we can score from a one by one wooden base. Yes, we can totally score. Two C4 and two rockets, two stacks of Explo, and can we also get sulfur? No way that he's keeping sulfur in here, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Why is there HQM in there? Who knows? Anyways, like I said, just super odd day for rating today, guys. I think I'm gonna call the video there after we scored from a wooden base. Everything I'm hitting is like jackpots today. Don't wanna use up all my luck and we're bound to fail the next one that we do. So yeah, I'll call the video there, guys. Make sure to get subbed if you wanna stay up to date with my rates. And I'll see you guys in a new video tomorrow. Also, by the way, my 5X no BP service will be wiping when this video is published. So yeah, that could have been a reason why everything was so odd today. But yeah, I'll see you guys on the wipe.